Hey team, welcome to this four part options trading masterclass where in masterclass number two, I'm going to dive deep on how I sell puts and make more than a nine to five income. So if you're someone who's learning how to trade options, wants to make some more monthly income or wants to replace your nine to five jobs income, this is the video for you. Here is what will be happening in this video. I'll be going over the strategy and explain it step by step. I'm going to show you a bag test to prove to you that it works and also shows you where it fails so that you can avoid the times in the market when this doesn't work best i will show you a real trade example so you know actually how to put on this trade so that you that you can do it for yourself i'm going to show you how this trade performs in a bullish market and a bear in a bearish market and in all-time highs like the market is right now so that you can know how to manage this trade correctly and i'll show you how to automate this trade so you don't have to worry about the stop loss the take profit the entering the stress and everything like that and you can stop being stuck to your screen so if you watch this entire video you will learn how to use puts to create monthly income and you'll also get my selling puts strategy pdf guide for free you'll get my when to trade what strategy guide for free and you'll also get free access to my private community where you can ask me questions and see my real trade so if you're interested in that please stay tuned and watch the entire video so let's jump right in how does this strategy work selling puts it works by picking a level we think the stock will not go below so let's say the market is trading here and this is a pretty far level so down here this means that as long as the market stays above this level we will make money that's how selling puts works again i'll get i'll get into the weeds here in a bit but the high level overview is as long as we stay above a level that we picked we make money and you can see here we're very far below the stock we're 15 percent below the stock so the stock can drop 15 percent and we'll still make money so that's why selling puts is a really high win rate really amazing trade for people who want to generate reliable and consistent monthly income so again if you're someone who wants to do that this is the trade for you now what does the back test look like for this well when we look at this trade let me make my face smaller it's taking up too much screen is this is a very consistent strategy you can see here it has a 97 percent win rate and we put on this trade twice a week we'll end up making two hundred and fifty three thousand dollars or roughly twenty five thousand dollars a year and so that's how amazing this trade is twenty five thousand dollars a year only putting this trade on twice a week with a 97 percent win rate now what we really want to look at is where does the strategy fail and how can we make that better well you can see here when the market dipped down here at the beginning of, of 2018 the strat the strategy dipped quite a bit then when we had this downtrend move the strategy underperformed as well and then during 2020 which we all know what happened then the market crashed hard and so did the strategy and ended up out outperforming the market and generating a 21% return a year but still we want to avoid those crashes so how do we do that well there's a very simple approach that I use and I'll also show you how to automate this as well but we go into our indicators we go and type in Bollinger Bands just like that we add it to our charts it may look a bit weird, but we're going to go into the settings. We're going to change the length to 200, which is going to make it a bit bigger. Then we're going to change the standard deviation to 2.1. Just like this, we have a great guess of when the market will be downtrending or crashing. And what is that guess? When the market breaks out of this level and then comes back into it. That means that a crash or a downtrend is likely. You can see here we went up and down and then kind of nothing happened here, but we went up and down and then the market went into a downtrend, which is not the best performance for short puts, right? And so what we do is we wait for the market to come up and crash back through. And when it does, we wait 21 days to give the market time to reset. So again, the 21 day mark would have been around here. Then we could have entered again and then we would have exited and then we would have waited 21 days, re answered around here and then started doing fine again so that is how this trade is structured and again we can see here during those pivotal times in the back test this 2018 went when it crashed hard we would have gotten out here which would have saved us uh, a good chunk of losses we would have been able to get out before the major part of this downtrend started which is where a huge chunk of losses came from and in 2020 you can see here we would have been able to get out before the huge crash and that would have also saved us a huge chunk of losses so not only are we, are we making the trading strategy more profitable but we're making more money losing less and our emotions are more calm so that is why we use this approach so now how do we actually do selling puts well, I like to do them on ES, which is a futures contract because I have better leverage, but you can also do them on ETFs like SPY, the Qs, and things like that.
So this trade is structured no matter what we trade it, trade it on by going 45 days out into the future, which is called a 45 DTE. We're going to take a 10 delta short put. We're going to have a 25% profit target and a stop loss of 400%. This is exactly how the back test was structured. Now, again, we like to put on this trade twice a week, but you can put on as many times as your buying power, the amount of money you have in, in your account allows. So let me show you what a real trade looks like. So looking at an options chain, which is what we see on our broker to actually place trades, we're going out to the 45 day mark. So the strikes we look for the closest to 45 days. So right here we have an exact 45 day match. I'm going to click on this. The puts is on the right side. So I'm gonna to go to the 10 Delta. If Delta isn't displaying, just click on this call and then pick one of the things you wanna look for. So 10 Delta. We're gonna come here, find a 10 Delta. So you can see here there's three 10 Delta. So which one should we pick? We should always pick the one with the highest amount of open interest because that means there's volume, there's transactions, we'll be able to get in and out faster. So this um, 10 Delta. We're going to sell it just like that. We sell one. Here we go. We have a 95% win rate on this trade. We're going to make $740 and we have to put up roughly $6,500 to put on this trade. So again, this is over a 10% return if we hold until X till expiration what we like to do because it increases our win rate and helps us get out of the trades faster is doing a 25 percent profit target so again we like to take profit when this has hit 25 percent of the max potential so that is how we structure this trade so we simply click re review and send and that will enter this trade for a real live trade now the question is, after we've entered a trade, how do we manage it when it's a bullish, bearish, or an all-time high? Well, let me start with an all-time high because that's where the market is right now. You can see the market is shooting up quite hard and if the market drops, it's gonna not perform well for our short put, so how do we manage this? Well, number one, we only like to enter short puts on red days. That's right, when the market dips down, enter short puts why because vix goes up which allows us to get a better entry collect more credit which means make more money and everything's just a lot better so if we have a red day in the market with an all-time high that's when we enter up until a single point here if the market gaps down or comes down far enough where it breaks this line right here then we're going to want to get out of our positions take our profits and wait a bit for the market to reset or crash if it wants to do that so you can see here if the market has a small red day or any red day like that enter in short puts that is a great time to do it because the trend is up we don't want to fight the trend there's a lot of profits we can miss out on if we don't enter now but we do have this hedge of protection where if the market comes and breaks this level we're going to get out and avoid any crash or huge downturn that starts then we'll let the market reset for 21 days and move on so that's what we do at an all-time high like the market is right now during a normal uptrend let's say the market is inside this band and nothing crazy is going on and it's just trending up this is a perfect time for short puts we still like to enter on red days though and then let's say the market is trending down this is a great opportunity to enter as well but wait for exaggerated red days what do i mean by an exaggerated red day you can see here this was an exaggerated red day see how huge this red candle is any large move to the downside is the best time to enter during a downtrend if you see the first green candle in the middle of a downtrend do not enter because you're getting the worst fill a worse level and it's not going to work out well wait for the red days it's hard but they work out better. So anyways, that's how we manage it in different environments. Now, let me show you how to automate the strategy so that it works best for you. Because if you're a dad, if you're a mom, if you're a parent, if you're a busy entrepreneur or busy professional, then what you do know is that staring at the screen is hard. Monitoring these positions is even harder and trying to do it while managing and being a good father is not is very, very hard and almost impossible. So let me show you how to set up an auto trader so it'll do all the work for you so that it will make monthly income for you while you spend time with your family, work, and on your hobbies. So if I go in here and click on create a new auto trader, I'll show you how to get this auto, this, this auto trader in a second. Then I'm gonna put in the details to connect to my broker. Just like that, after I've connected my broker, I can click on a preloaded strategy, which is like the Tasty Live selling puts, and I can mimic that. But I wanna create my own, so I'm gonna do sell puts. I'm gonna do a delta of 10, like I walked through in this example. I can do it on SPY, I can do it on SPX, I can do it on ES Futures. I'm gonna select ES Futures. I'm gonna trade this weekly or twice a week if I wanted, Tuesday and Thursdays, however I wanna do it. I'm gonna have a 45 days until expiration, take profit of 25%, a stop loss of 400%, and now this will all be managed for me.
Next, I'm going to enable some safeguards. So I want no more than $20,000 um, allocated to the strategy at any one time, which should be fine because I'm doing two trades a week. These trades only last about a week until I hit my max profit of 25%. So again, I'm not going to exceed $20,000 and I'll still be able to make a good return. So next, I'm going to enable the market safeguard. This means if the market shows like it's going to roll over, like I showed you in this video, you know, where like it looks like the market's going to roll over and turn into a crash or downtrend, it's going to get me out as well as stop me from entering any new trades because that would be a bad time to do so so right there I, I click enable and now it protects my account from crashes just like that I've created the auto trader and it's been saved and now I'm just gonna save it but if I turn it on it's gonna automatically enter these trades for me monitor my stop loss and take profit in a way that market makers can't affect so if you've ever tried to automate it on your broker where you try to set up a, um, a take profit or stop loss most brokers don't support it but even if they do you get faked out and tricked by market makers end up losing hundreds of dollars so now that won't happen with this auto trader so if you want early access to to this auto trader which is going to be available on monday february 19th if you want early uh, early access as well as access to the strategy guide to the other strategy P uh, pdf and my private community then click the link down below it will ask you to join this community which is the waitlist for the auto trader you'll get early access to the auto trader to use it at a discount you'll also get access to the p to the pdf guides i showed you and you'll get access to me to ask me questions and see my live trade so click the link down below and i will see you inside this community and i hope you grab early early access to the auto trader because it will literally change the way you are making money, providing for your family and spending time with them because now you won't be stuck to the screen and have a ton of crazy emotions all the time. All right, guys, see you in the next masterclass video coming up soon.